And so Moses the third is the Pharaoh, and he's, these two are fighting. Now, who are, the, who are the people involved in this conflict? Well, one of them is his queen, whose name is Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut was his wife, and she was, in a sense, more royal than he. Now, it's an interesting thing to say, but many of the pharaohs would marry women who they felt had more status. In Yiddish you say more yichas, they had a greater genealogy of royalty. Many pharaohs married their sisters. I mean, this is a tradition in Egypt. And they may have married their sisters pro forma, I mean, just to establish the relationship. It doesn't mean that they necessarily lived with them, but they were married to them to hold on to the dynastic power and to the tradition of being in royalty. Well, it so happened that Tehmosis II was married to Hatshepsut. And she was a woman of strong personality. And she said, Egypt should fight a trade war with the rest of the world. We should build ships and trade. We should go trading into the south, into the Indian Ocean, trading across the Mediterranean. And we'll get rich. And we don't have to go to war. We don't have to kill and don't have to fight. It so happened that he had another wife. His name was Isis. Now, the problem is this. Hatshepsut gave birth to a daughter. That weakened her position because Pharaoh needed a son. Well, he said to Hatshepsut, look, oh, daughter, we need a son. I'm going to marry another woman. Well, she couldn't object. So he married Isis. And sure enough, Isis gave birth to a boy. Now you see <laughs> the battle lines are drawn. Because Isis is the mother of the son, and therefore the mother of the heir to the throne. So she's asserting her strength. Hatshepsut is still stronger than she is. But <laughs> as far as the future is concerned, look to the future. When he dies, this kid's going to become king. So you have a problem, and if he becomes king, then his mother becomes dowager empress. It's very complicated. So the struggle goes on. The struggle goes on. What shall we do? In the meantime, Hatshepsut is still reigning queen, and she starts to move towards the building of an economic uh, aggression. So they start to build ships and she sends them out to trade with the Mediterranean and to establish Egyptian colonies for trade and commerce. And she sends ships into the Indian Ocean as well. So now you have Egypt expanding. At the same time, of course, Isis, the mother of Tehutmosis III, and her gang, because she has accumulated, she has acquired uh, backers and people who want to be close to her because they, he's going to be the king and they're going to be part of his entourage. So uh, she has a party and Hatshepsut has a party and the struggle is between them. And so things go on and when the boy is nine years old the father dies. Now before he died, he appointed uh, a regency council. That is, uh, the son will succeed to the throne when he is 18 years of age as Pharaoh. He will be crowned as soon as the priests crown him at the age of nine. But until he becomes 18 years of age, there is a council that's going to rule or tell him what to do. And Hatshepsut is chairman of the council. So Hatshepsut is now chairman of the Regency Council, so in effect she is ruler of the state. But she has several duties that she must perform, and one of them is to make sure that the boy is crowned pharaoh. This is a problem for her, and she's trying to deal with it. It's, it's fascinating just to read the records and see how this thing works out and how she manipulates it, and how she tries to hold her position. 
Well, in order for Pharaoh to be crowned, um, you have to have a council of the priests, and the priests have to do many things, including consult the oracle. And the oracle, by the way, is 400 miles in the western desert, where the god will tell you what's what. All of this has to be done before. And, of course, uh, under Hatshepsut's guidance, the priests consult the, uh, the livers of the sacrifices, and they consult the stars, and they draw the signs of the zodiac, and they say, the time is not yet. So she's delayed the coronation. And she delays it for four years. In the meantime, we'll continue next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Wow.